Tiffany, as you know, is a shy person. She doesn't know how to spread her wings when she's talking and giving a speech. She didn't give me an introduction, so I get to make up my own. <laughs> Everybody, please welcome Tiffany. What does it take to heal a broken heart? The bandage of time, the salve of love, and the fresh air of forgiveness. But in the interim, how about ice skating? It was one of those days where I just needed to get away. I needed to be away from the words coming at me this way and this way, and me not knowing what was true or what to believe anymore. I needed something different so that when I looked back upon that day, I saw more than just the fight. I needed something challenging so that when I looked back upon the day, I could remember something good that had happened. So I decided, let's try ice skating. It had been a while. I'd been wanting to do this for some time. So I fired up my Corolla and headed down to the Bellingham Sportsplex. Walk in and stand in line with all these kids who are actually shorter than me. It's kind of a miracle when that happens and pay and get the greasy stamp on the back of my hand and the chalky blue shoes, one skates, one with a black lace and one with a white lace and go in. There's that beautiful white ice rink glistening out there. Lace up my skates then realize that skates are unstable footwear. <laughs> now, you must remember here, you must know, it had been a very long time since I'd gone ice skating. In fact, the last time I went ice skating, most of the kids hadn't been born yet. That's how long it had been. The other part is that everybody needs to know about me. I am a Freddy cat. When it comes to anything to do with heights or motion, I'm out. Diving boards, skateboards, snowboards, no matter how high I'm off the ground, if I am moving, that's a problem. Because my feet can go out, my head can go back, I don't know, concussions happen, things go wrong. Here I am on ice, well not quite yet, so far one foot just went on, and man that is slipperier than I remember the last time I was here, but you know, there's ten year olds doing this, so I should be able to. One foot, balance, okay, this isn't so bad, now to just get the other skate on the ice. Okay, whoa, okay, slippery, doable, wall is right here. What did they teach me when I was 12 or something and the last time I was here? Come on people, I grew up in the Philippines, I never did ice skating. Mm -hmm. Foot out, foot out, foot out. Hey, that's not so bad. Okay, that was bad. Okay, let's do that again. And around the rink I went. It felt like a mile the first time I ran around. And I'm pretty sure that little kid in the hockey gear passed me three or four <laughs> times. Once with contact. But I made it. I didn't wipe out that first time around. I thought, I'm going to do this again. Hey, I paid for it, so I might as well get my money's worth out of it. Even though I was only moving about this fast, my legs were already starting to ache and my back too, because I was standing like I've had premature osteoporosis going on. But I made it around. And I made it around again. And then I thought, how many times can I go around without touching the wall? <clears throat> I hadn't been ice skating in 10, 12 years. I'd barely just gotten out on the ice. I was, was hitting the wall every five or six strokes just to make sure it was there that I could do this. Can I do it without the wall? Hand off the wall. Straight shot down to the end, and then I'm going to have to start turning again. Here we go. I can do this. And I made it one loop. And then I made it two loops. And I made it three loops. And my music was playing in my ears, because the skateboard's plus music, stupid. It's playing my music in my ears and zooming around, feeling like an Olympic skater, probably going about this fast. But I made it around three times. And then here I went for my fourth time. And after I crossed the finish line for the fourth time, then bad things happened, I slammed into the wall, and that record was over. But I was realizing, as I was skating around that fourth time, that third time, realizing I could do this, 
without my wall, without grabbing onto this every time that it felt like I was breaking free, but no, this is too fast, too much, too soon, I need to grab onto the wall to make sure it's still there and I'm not gonna wipe out. I could do it without the wall. I didn't fall over. One time I even jumped to make sure that I could stay on my feet and I did. I stayed upright. And those anxiety, chest pains, and the shoulder ache that had been bugging me all morning, and the, the, the fog of my brain that had been so hard to think through, was starting to clear. With the music that was playing in my head and the ability to skate, not anywhere near as well as the second grader skating by me, but better than I'd been able to before. And so I learned something that day, that even though trying something new and trying something different, pushing yourself out of a boundary, it doesn't mend a broken heart, but it makes your heart realize that you can be strong in one area, and you can grow in an area that has always been a weakness, and you can overcome a fear of something as silly as wiping out when you're basically on the ground already. Then if you can overcome that fear, and you can make four laps without wiping out or slamming into the wall just because it's safe and it's there, then maybe that broken heart Maybe the, the people and the things that caused that. Maybe I can reach out and love again. Maybe I can try something and not grab onto the wall just because it's safe. I can get out there and I can believe that even though I've never done it before, I can maybe do it again. Mr.